Hey guys. So here in today's session, I will show you how to create our Active Directory <clears throat> directory services. So you can take one plain EC2 instance and you can start installing ADDS service. But even we have a directory service that Amazon manages. So you can simply create a directory service with few clicks and you can start joining all your domain uh, all your instances into the domain okay so under security and security identity and compliance you can find this directory service select that option okay so here so you can create a pool of users and you can integrate that users with your mobile application or web apps so which you are developing by using amazon web services and second option is Microsoft AD. So I'm going to click on setup directory. So here we have two versions. So you can click here the standard version. It's going to be supportable up to 30,000 objects. So just scroll down here. You can find a small comparison table. So here you can see total directory objects 30,000 and for enterprise editions, it's approximately 5 lakhs. So I'm going to create a simple AD so that means only standard edition is too sufficient for me and here you can give what exactly directory or DNS you want to give that means your domain ID so you have to choose your fully qualified domain name so I want to use obviouswe.com as my domain name so I'm I'm not giving any NetBIOS name so that is purely optional and here default administrator for this domain default administrator for this domain is admin so you need to create an administrator password and you have to remember that password that is very very important so if you want to join your first machine to this domain controller so you must log in with this user then only you can log in so i'm going to create a password for this user and you can give any of the description so where exactly you want to create this in which availability zone or which vpc you want to create this and you can choose your own subnet or else you can give no preference so amazon is going to pick up both the subnets so amazon is going to create two domain controllers for fault tolerance purpose okay so this is a review screen and here you can find directory service is free for third post 30 days <coughs> okay so here is a first 30 days free and that too you are going to get 1500 hours of use across of your directory services manage directories so let me click on create microsoft ad then one microsoft active directory is going to be created and here you can find this can take up to 25 to 30 minutes so it's in creating state so meanwhile i'm going to launch one of the ec2 instance then let me add that instance to this particular domain and i am going to install remote management tools also to manage my ad so launch instance select free tier only scroll down and i'm going to launch windows server 2012 r2 t2 micro that comes with free tier eligibility and all the default options and 30 gigs and i'm going to name this as ad manage and I'm going to tag this to my instances as well as volumes. So let me choose an existing security group. So RDP must be enabled. Then let me launch. I'm going to launch by using a key pair. There it is. One instance is provisioning. And however, this is going to take some time. So I'm going to pause this video. When this Active Directory is ready, I will resume this. 
Okay, there you can find the status. Now it is turned as active. So now here my instance also ready. So I'm going to connect to this instance. So I'm going to take remote connectivity into my instance and default username is going to be administrator. And here some auto generated password. So now I'm logging to this machine as local administrator. So now I want to join this machine into the newly created domain name. Okay, so you can go to properties of this PC. There you can find this machine. Now it is in work group. That means a standalone machine. So click on change settings, click on change. There you can see when you click on this domain. So here enter your domain name. So my domain name is abispay.com. Then give yes, but it is not able to resolve the DNS. So it is showing as the domain is temporarily uh, ensure the domain name is typed correctly. So this is the most common issue we are going to face. So navigate to your directory services, expand your directory ID. There you can find the DNS name. So you need to configure this DNS name in the server. So I'm going to open network device properties. IP version 4, then I'm going to grab this particular DNS naming ID, then give OK, close and close. Now, let me try to add this machine to the domain. So there it is opting for domain admin password. So my domain username is admin and I'm going to grab the domain admin password which we have given while creating the domain. There you can see it is showing as welcome message. There you can see, so we must restart this device. So click on restart now. So I'm just rebooting this instance. So it's going to take a minute to reboot. So now I really no need to log in as local administrator. So directly I can log into this machine as Domain admin and I can start installing remote management tools to manage my AD. So let me click on get windows password. Oh, as I mentioned, I really no need to. So I'm going to grab this public DNS. Then MSTSC, I just given that ID and uh, I believe the machine is still rebooting. Okay, so it is asking me to log in as administrator, but as I mentioned, I really don't want to. So I'm going to select more options. So here I'm going to log into Avis Pay and my default username is admin. Then I'm going to give my domain admin password. There you can see I'm going to log in as admin of my particular domain. So now this is this device is added to domain and this member of the domain. There you can go to properties and you can verify that. There you can see domain is avispay.com. So like you may get a doubt how to manage these uh, Active Directory users and computers. So like we don't have any option here. There you can see we don't have any option here then how to manage that so here i'm going to use the same machine to manage my active directory services so i'm going to select this server manager and i'm going to add roles and features so still some inventory data is happening so let me click on next and role based or feature based installation and i'm going to install on the same machine then I'm not going to install any of the role. If you want to install Active Directory directory services, 
and you want to manage everything by yourself you can choose this option and you can in start installing but i've choose to create an amazon managed directory service so i'm not going to select any role here in next step you can scroll down and choose remote server administration tools expand role administration tools and i'm going to select active directory related services so click on next then install so it's going to take a minute then we are going to get all the appropriate services to manage our directory services remotely from the same machine okay so the installation is success let me click on close and let me go to install programs and let me verify there you can see i got all the administrative tools related to active directory so click on active directory users and computers okay so here you can find this abispay.com there you can find computers and users let me select this user so he is a admin user so we logged into this machine as his admin so amazon will recommend you to not to delete this user at any cost so i'm going to add a new user so i'm going to click on new select user then i'm going to give the user name then there you can see i'm going i'm going to create a new user and set up a password for this user and user must change password at next login and user password never expires and click on next and finish there you can see one user is created and this user he can log into any of the machine if that machine added to domain so it's so a very simple and this is amazon managed and if you want to integrate your existing on premise domain controller with the aws cloud environment you can create an ad connector that we i will explain in another video so thanks for watching this video please subscribe